G'day guys, Will from Wildplay Fishing. I'm out here on the Hunter River today. Once again, um, in the Yak, of course. Um, I've gone left of the boat ramp at Morpeth today. I want to get out of the boat traffic. On this Australia day, I've picked one of the worst days of coming out in the water. I just want to go fishing, basically. I haven't been out in a while, so I've already caught a flathead and a brim. So I'll definitely, we'll catch a couple more, I reckon. But yeah, like I said, I haven't picked a good day to go fishing. Uh, there's going to be possible thunderstorms today too well not possible it's likely to happen so um that's why i picked morpeth so it's pretty local to me so i can you know get out of here if i need to really quickly it's been fishing well i've been here and it's been um i've been getting quite a few dew uh, only little soapies but still a lot of fun um dew's a dew in my books but yeah the top three species are bass brim and flooded so we're going after them today i've got one rod with a hard body little mega bass griffin and the other rod's got a little uh Zeric fish trap the soft vibe only the 65 mil so i'm gonna rotate between those two rods see what works best depending on where i'm gonna fish basically so stay tuned and um we'll keep you updated What have I got? What do I have? It's a flooded. I've got a flooded. Yep. Nice little, nice little dusky. I was right up along that wall there, then. He's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad at all. He's a a high 40s model. It'd be a nice um, eating size one too. I'm just going to back away from this wall. Oh, sit still. Yeah, he's not a bad one actually. He, um, he's a beautiful eating size. I might just get a quick measurement, measurement of him. Very quickly. Yep, he's, high, he's 47. So yeah, I was right. He's up in my high 40s. Doing a nice release. No, not keeping any fish again today. Just love catch and release. Yep, there he goes. So this is the first outfit that I've got today. The TD0 from Dollar. Yep, 1 to 3. Uh, 7 2. Um, so there's a little bit of length for the casting distance. Nice and light. Really soft tip. I've only got a little hard body on that one. Um, and the reel's a Dilaluvius uh, 2004. So nice and, nice and light, six pound J braid and uh, six pound J thread. So that's the first outfit. That other Zero from Dyla, TD Zero. Uh, this is a two to five. I've just purchased this rod, so it's brand, brand spanker. So it's just over seven foot. Uh, I've bought this rod sort of an, for an all round purpose. In the river, I think especially, it's going to be awesome to use, especially for little soft vibes. It doesn't have a really soft tip, so you can work them nicely. I've got the TD Sol 2000, two and a half thousand. That's the that's the three model, so it's the latest of the of the um, Sols, and that's with eight pound J braid with a eight pound J thread, a leader. So that's going to be a nice outfit, I think, for me. But yeah. We'll, um, we'll see how that runs then. I'm actually keen to try this little sandbar here. I reckon it'd be flat at all around this. Oh. 
That's it. And I reckon that's a flathead for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a flathead, that one. Just cast up near this, this little sandbar here. And my line went really slack really quickly. So I need something grabbed it. He's gone. He's not bad. I want to see if I can lift it this one. Just because I don't want to deal with him in the net. Because my lures is going to get caught up. I just got him. There he is. Yeah, he's about the same size as the last one, I reckon. Maybe just a little bit smaller. 45, 46. Yeah, I knew there'd be a flatted up here. It's this perfect spot for him. I reckon there'd be a few more along here too, on this sandbar. I'll get these, um, I'll get the lure out and I'll give you a look at him. There's that, pops the lure. Yeah, he's a little bit small. I just predi I predicted that. Yeah, he's 46. He is. He's a nice little flatter, this one. Guy that's doing the damage. Got a bit of paint taken off him now. But they're 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 by Mega Bass, and they're this one's a Griffin. They're called Bait Finesse. This one's a 2.2. Like that's how deep it dives. So I like them because they're they're a fat they're a fatter profile than a normal little hard body, and they got a really loud rattle. And I like their little um, 3D eyes. So realistic. Yeah, it's so cool. Love these lures. I think so. I don't want to get that far today, but I'm heading that way. Yep. What have I got? On the soft vibe this time. Just hopping it on the bottom. It doesn't feel big. Oh, you know what it is. All right, this is a Boreat. Oh, one of the last things I wanted to catch today. Oh, I've caught a couple of these now. This is probably my fourth one I've caught in the river. Oh, I don't want to deal with this at all. Now these have very oh, sharp spines on the top of their, on top of them there, you can see. And they cause a lot of pain, apparently. Yeah, you don't want to step on one of these guys. He's making funny noises. But that's actually sort of a decent size one for the ones I've caught now. I haven't caught that before, but... Oh, he's, a, he's not a good looking thing, is he? Oh, he looks quite hideous. Yeah, it's a close up of him. He's got, yeah, those spines on the top there. They'll um, they'll give you a nasty, nasty pain. Yeah, I don't know if they're poisonous or not. Uh, if anyone knows, leave it in the comments below. But I know they just cause a world of pain. So yeah, look out for these guys. Don't don't want to don't want to grab them. So I'm just gonna get the Bucky's only hooked in the top lip there. Oh. There he goes, he's out. I'll um I'll get I'll get this off the net. I'll let him go as quick as I can. That was the last thing I expected to catch today. Off he goes. Yeah, you don't wanna you definitely don't wanna grab one of them or step on one of them, that's for sure. So Alright. I hope I don't catch too many more of them today, that's for sure. God, they're ugly looking things, aren't they? They almost look like a, like some type of cod, when you really like have a good look at them, but... Yeah, that's um... Not something I want to 
catch every day, that's for sure. That's probably my fourth one I've caught now. And they've all been out of the hunter. I think if you do get spiked by one, I think hot water, boiling hot water um, works. That's what I've heard anyway. I don't know if it's just me, but that looks really shallow just there. See how that current's, looks like the current's going over some rocks, and that's the case. Look out, Mr. Flathead, eh? I'll see if it is. I think it is. I think I'm going to hit the bottom pretty quickly. Here. Yeah. That's a long cast, that one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nailed me. Oh, that hit me hard, that one. What have we got? He doesn't feel too bad. It felt, that felt like a bass hit, that one. I reckon it's a bass. Just the way he hit me. Or oh, brim. Could be a brim. Yeah, it's a brim. God, he whacked me, that one. Bring him in. Out the net, I reckon. Yep, there he is. He was hooked a bit funny. That's why he probably felt a bit bigger. Still, he's probably just a, you know, around a legal size brim. Sit still. Nice little brim. He's probably oh, he's probably just under size, I'd say. That's him there. See you, buddy. Make my way down, or upstream, I should say. That's heading towards Maitland, so. Um, Yeah, right there. It's getting lifted out of the out of the water. I think I've got a flat edge. Drag off a little bit. My guess it's a flat edge. So no. Oh, I think it's a nice brim. He's in, um, he's in the 30s, this one. I reckon. Beautiful. Where are you? Here. Oh, nice brim. Yes. I thought it was flooded at first because he hit me right in the shallows. Just up near these rocks here. He's, um, he's a quality brim. Especially for, like this far up. Another victim falling short to the to the griffin. He's bent the hooks a bit. Uh, he's done a little bit, yeah, a bit of damage to that back one there, so I'll fix that up in a sec. Look at the look at the nose on him. Yeah. He's um I'm gonna say he's 33. I'll give him a measure. Just see how good my guessing game is. 
Yep, well he's over 33. He's 34, just over 34 from the to the tip of the tail. Yep, 34 centimeters. And to all those forkies out there, 30 and a half. That's not a bad brim for up here. So, well, um, I might get a photo of him real quick. There he is. Just over 34. He's quality fish. So, I'll let him go, eh? Yep. <laughs> On the soft bob. A nice brim. I've just come back to this spot where it was shallow and I caught um I hooked to that flathead and I caught that brim. And it's high tide now, so I think I'm just gonna cast a hard body or a soft bob over the over the rocks here. Let's see what happens. But yeah, there's a there's a nice spring for you. He's probably just legal. There he is. Nothing too special. Just hopping that little soft bob over that little um, shallow rocky part there. There must be a couple of them there, so we'll let him go. And we'll see if we can get a bigger one. That's really loose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so loose, that drag. Do I have a bass yet? Is this going to be a bass? What's it going to be? Well, I think it's a bass. Yep, first bass of the day. Took a while. He's not bad, actually. Ooh. There he is. He's really skinny, this bass. Check him out. Oh, he's got nothing in his belly. Wow. I'm just getting a quick measure. He's 37. Guys, a little 37 model for you. He's um he's really really skinny. He's got nothing in his stomach at all. Like it's flat. Check that out. 
flat as can be just about. But yeah, first bass of the day anyway. So it's been slow between um, fish, but I think I'm gonna head off soon. There's a big thunderstorm rolling in behind me. You can see the clouds here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Been a sort of a tough day, but I've caught a couple of fish in between. I think I um, stuck trying to catch a jewfish for too long today and wasted a lot of time, so they weren't keen to bite. But I'll let him go this one. Very slowly going back, but he's gone. Being a bit dopey. I reckon it's a carp. It doesn't have head shakes like a Jew. It's heavy enough to be a Jew, but I don't think it is. It's got no fight in it. Another bull rat! You're kidding! There must be something about vibes they like. Because I've caught two on vibes today, and I've caught about two others previous times on vibes. Oh, no wonder he felt heavy, he's hooked on the side. Look out. Ah, oh, yuck. Look how disgusting they look. They look gnarly. <laughs> oh, God. I do not like the look of that. Oh, no. Don't come near me. No, no, no. I thought I might have had a carp for a second because it felt way heavier than that. I thought I might have had a Jew as well, but it didn't take off. Ooh, okay, he's off. Ooh. Oh god, they look, they look, look a bit estuary cottish. Oh, I really don't want to get spiked. There we go. All right, I am not dealing with you, mate. Not at all. <laughs> Must be a few in here then. Righto guys, I think that's my cue to go home. That um, that ball route I think is a sign that um, I need to get out of here because um, that there does not look pretty. And it's coming my way, so. But yeah, there's heaps of thunderstorms this afternoon in the, in the Hunter Valley, so. I think we're gonna get a bit of rain, but not, not a lot, but you know, every drop counts, I guess, so. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Um, it wasn't a bad day. I got, oh, off of doing the tally, I can't remember. I think I got about four brim, oh, two ball routes, a bass, and two flatheads. So it wasn't too bad. Um, I think the heat just got to me. Um, and I also tried to go after a dewy uh, for too long. Um, I wasted a lot of time. So anyway, you guys know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll definitely be doing uh, more of these Hunter River uh, episodes, especially around Morpeth. So. This is the time of year to fish it, around January, February, so anyway, I'll catch you next video guys, cheers.